Today we're in Youngstown, Ohio at the Calvary Cemetery and we're looking for the grave of E.T. <whistles> Gotta go. I'll get you home, little buddy. We finally made it to the Calvary Cemetery here in Youngstown, Ohio. And we're looking for the grave of the infamous E.T. The extraterrestrial. And obviously we're not looking for the grave of the alien because as we all know in the movie, his family came back and saved him and took him back to his home planet. We're looking for the two foot ten young actor who was inside of the million and a half dollar E.T. suit who brought the E.T. to life before our eyes. Basically whenever E.T. was walking or trudging along and it couldn't hide the cables and mechanisms, it was little Pat inside. Now before we find the grave of the actor who played E.T. I'm gonna to totally nerd out on you a little bit and tell you did you know that E.T. was in Star Wars? Oh it's true. If you blink you'll miss it but in Star Wars The Phantom Menace you can see three E.T.'s sitting in on a Senate meeting and here's a clip now. Up, zoom in, and there you go. Now that makes sense because in E.T., Steven Spielberg paid a little homage to his buddy George Lucas when E.T. goes trick-or-treating. He sees a Yoda as a little nod to his buddy George Lucas. And E.T. says, home, home. So today I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to play a little game. I'm going to throw in quite a few nods. I'm going to pay homage to one of my favorite movies of the 80s, E.T. And in the comments below you can put how many you see. Or if you'd rather, you can list every time I pay homage to E.T. in the comments below. Now let's go find the grave of Michael Patrick Bylon. Look at this amazing shirt I got. It's perfect. Harvey? Harvey, is that you? All right, after an hour of searching this huge cemetery, we finally found our first clue, a box of Reese Pieces candy. Okay. So that must mean Michael Patrick Bylon is here in section 46. So if you come to the cemetery, come all the way almost to the back and find section 46. And we'll see if we can find the plot from here. All right, from section 46, let's look around and see if we can find any clues to the plot of E.T. Yep, what do we have here? Oh, there's another Reese Pieces. Pat was born on August 29th in 1947 here in Youngstown, Ohio to the parents Esther and Michael Bylon. Oh, here's another one. He had a foster brother, John, who was four years older than him. Found another clue. Somebody's looking out for us today. All right, we gotta be getting close. Now I'm heading towards this building with a cross on the top and a single pine tree in front of these rows of bushes right here. 
It's a diagonal from section 46. Now standing two feet, 10 inches, Pat was one of the smallest adults in the United States. Aside from acting, the little person has also been an active member of the Little People of America, a radio dispatcher, a basketball coach, and he was also a, a bouncer, which I thought was kind of funny. All right, we're getting closer and closer to that solo pine tree. So I think we're almost to E.T.'s grave. What is this? What in the world? Oh, this must be the headstone of a biology teacher. Well, there's only one thing to do. We gotta save him! Go! Go! You're free! Run for the river! Run for the forest! Go! You're free! Alright, perfect. Michael Patrick Bylon was discovered during a Little People of America convention and was cast in the movie Under the Rainbow starring Chevy Chase and Carrie Fisher. And it was from that movie that Steven Spielberg found him again. He thought he'd be perfect to fit in a one and a half million dollar ET suit. And the rest is history. What do we got here? Oh yeah. Somebody was definitely looking out for us. There he is. The young man who brought E.T. to life. A name most people don't know, but we're hoping to change that after this video. Michael Patrick Bylon. Now sadly, on January 27th, 1983, only a year after his blockbuster film E.T. was released, Michael Patrick Bylon died at the young age of 35 years old due to a bout of pneumonia, which caused a serious blood infection. And here's this headstone right here. It was super hard to find since it's not above ground. He's buried next to his mother, Esther Bylon, who died in 2006. And his father, Michael Bylon, who died in 2010. All Youngstown natives. And yeah, somebody left some flowers for him. I mean, they've seen better days, but at least somebody was kind enough to leave some flowers. And like I do for all the famous graves that I go to, I also want to leave a few mementos. I want to leave my YouTube magnet. I want to cover the stone, so I'll kind of hide it there in the corner. And if you come to Youngstown, Ohio and visit Michael, feel free to take my magnet. And I also got this 40-year-old wind-up ET. Doesn't work very well. But for being 40 years old, I say it's perfect. Zoom in on that guy a little bit. Come on, E.T. Yeah, go! Ah. I thought as a tribute to Michael Byland here, we'd play a couple rounds of my favorite game from the 80s, the old speak and spell, which was notorious from the movie E.T. I mean, the movie. See what I did there? It still has that creepy voice more than ever. But let's play a couple rounds of the speaking spell for old time's sakes. Spell word. Word. I can do that. W-O-R-A. You are right. Yes. Try oven. Oven. O. V. E. N. Oh. You are right. Yes. Try five. Five. All right, here's our last word of the day, five. F-I-V-E. That is right. Now try pint. 
still got it. We're here at the Calvary Cemetery. And I just couldn't accept the fact that the whole world knows who E.T. is. But if you bring up Michael Patrick Bylon in a conversation, no one would have no idea who it is. So hopefully this video will shed a little light on that and give him the credit he deserves. I just wish there was a way of knowing that he knows we came to visit him. I guess we'll never know. Calvary Cemetery here in Youngstown, Ohio. We accomplished finding the grave of E.T. So until we meet again, I just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Whoa! Whoa!